What's up, Plane Crash Survivors? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to the forest. And this video is just on fire. It's doing so well. You guys want to see it, and that is making me so happy. I've got a hell of an episode for you guys today, all right? But before we get to the episode, I wanted to go over some of the comments, uh, mostly suggestions, I think, uh, of you, that you guys had in the comments section. Um, some I'm going to use, some I'm not, but I do appreciate them all. They're all, you know, really cool. I love seeing you guys invested in this series. All right, so someone said put some rock holders in that room by the boulders. Pretend um, it's where you mine rocks. That was a, that's a pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting idea. Um, a lot of people had ideas for the rock room. I just call it the rock room. You know, maybe I should make it into like a a place where I jam out with my friends. Although I don't really have any friends on this island, but you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like the rock room, like get our guitars and stuff and go in there and just start rocking out. Uh, let's turn. Now we're going to leave that on. We're going to turn that off. All right. And uh, he's talking about over here or he or she. Uh, they're talking about over here and like put some boulder like rock holders in here and pretend this is where you mine the stone. It's a pretty cool idea, although I'm probably not going to do it because I already built four rock holders in here. So, you know, it's all good. Great idea, though. Um, dude, you're missing a huge opportunity. Zip lines for everything. Want in? Zip line. Want out? Zip line. One major section of it to another base. You got it. Zip line. That's <laughs> a, that's a freaking dope idea. Um, the reason I don't like zip lines, um, as an entrance to the base is because it makes it impossible for me to get log sleds in here and out. So it's, it makes it harder to move stuff in and out. But that is, I, I mean, I love zip lines too. We're going to be working with zip lines today, but um, someone says you, you can use an elevator to get up to the platform or the water side. So I know what they're saying. Um, I think what I'm going to do is uh, originally I was making, I was thinking about making a stairway down, right? Um, down here to the water and then just doing it like that. But yeah, the freaking um, what is it called? I think it's called the crane. We haven't used the crane yet, but the crane is freaking dope. Let me show you the crane really quick. There you go, the crane. It's basically, it's an elevator, guys. It's an elevator. There's no other way to say it. Um, and that is awesome. I'm going to use that to get up and down to the water. Great idea. That's not going to be this episode, but I got that filed away in the old brain. Um, someone else said you can put um, some garden beds and garden beds and benches in the room with the rocks. Leave the leave the room open, or maybe the door open, and make it like a Japanese garden for you to chill. I might actually do that. I might actually do. I will think about that. Uh, so as of right now, maybe I'll put, maybe I'll make this like a. I don't know how to make like a Japanese-looking garden area, but I could put some benches here and some gardens and kind of you know see what we can do. If not, if I decide not to do anything with it, I'll just leave it closed up like that. Someone said you could do it. Can you do a custom wall with a defensive wall on top? I don't think so, but I will try if I remember. Um, I could forget, uh, but if I remember, I'll try. I could kind of try it right now, really quickly. It only take a second. So, uh, yeah, I guess you can. I guess you can. Although, although that might be because it's on the floor. I'm pretty sure you can, actually. So, maybe I could do that. Like, I could put regular walls down here and then put the defensive walls on top. Although, I don't think they'll look... I, no, you know what? I'm not going to do that, and I'll tell you why. It's The, the wood is not going to be going in the same direction. You'll have regular walls with wood going this way, and then the defensive walls on top with wood going the other way, and that would look really funky. Um, so probably won't do that, but pretty cool idea though. I do like it. Um, just an idea. What about a zip line, uh, to a hub in the center, faster way to build everything. So they're saying a, a zip line, um, into the center. And then I know what they're saying. I could zip line rocks. Okay. And that is going to bring us to today's build. We are going to be ba making a zip line, bringing logs in here. All right, and then I'm going to have a special way to catch them. Now, the special way to catch them I've done before, but it was like years ago. Uh, there's been major updates since then. I don't know if it's still going to work. It very well might not. I think what I'll do is I will save the game before I build it, and then if it doesn't work, I'll just I'll try and figure out some other solution. Here's the deal, guys. When you have logs being ziplined like from far away, uh, what happens is they go down the zip line. They don't load until you get there, and then when you get there, they all load at once. So you put down 25 logs on a zip line, and then when you come back to where the, the like, let's say you want a zip line, well, I'll just tell you, I'm, I'm going to put a zip line up there on that little, uh, that little area right, right there. I'm going to put a zip line right there, okay? And the reason I'm going to put a zip line right there is, is two reasons. Number one, it's higher off the ground in this area, and number two, it, there's some trees up there. There's quite a bit of trees up there, okay? Now, here's the deal. What you could do is you can use the crane... All right, you could put down the crane. Now, this is, I'm trying to explain this. Stay with me. 
uh, because I'm not going to do it this time and I'm going to explain why I'm not going to do it. Normally what you would do is zip lines have to be higher where they're starting and come down to where they're going. Obviously that's the way gravity works, right? So what you could do and what I've done in the past is you make the crane like you find a place that's got a lot of logs around it, right? A lot of trees. And then you and then you make a crane there and the crane will let you get a bunch of height, right? And you can on the crane build logs log holders. So you make the crane, you build log holders, you chop down all the trees in the in the highly dense area that you are B building the, the first part of this at and then you um you put them on the uh, log holders you bring them all the way up to the top of the crane where you're going to have a, a a zip line that comes this way now that's actually quite time consuming and probably is not really a great way to get logs it's cool because it's fun but it's really not efficient like because getting getting those logs on the log you have to get them on the log sleds bring all the logs to the crane put them on the log holders bring the log holders to the top and then zip them down I would like to do it without the crane. We might do it with the crane again later, just because it'll be fun. But it's fun, but I don't think it's I don't think it's efficient. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to start this. So I want this to be right in the middle um, of, the, of the base. So I'm thinking right about there would be good. All right. So I'm thinking this is kind of the middle of the base, and no, I'm gonna build my house. My personal living quarters is gonna be in the middle of the base. So you know what, with that said, maybe we don't want it to be in the middle of the base. Maybe we want it to be like kind of over here. Yeah, you know what? That's a good idea. Let's put it over here. I don't know if I'm gonna build I don't know if I'm gonna build anything over here, but I know I'm building my own house in the middle of the base. So I guess this will be a good spot for it. And the 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 thing we, the catch is gonna go right in front, so we'll bring this back a little bit. And I guess that'll be good. We're gonna place this down, and then we're gonna run out there. I don't know if I explained that properly. Um, basically, the idea is the crane is an added step that adds a lot of time to it, and I'm going to try and avoid using the crane for efficiency purposes. With that said, I will probably build this again using the crane at some point because it's freaking cool, you know? Um, yeah, look, I, I've already done this. I, I did this in a, in a past Let's Play, and I, I made the whole setup with the crane, and I really never used it because it just wasn't time efficient. It really wasn't. You built this thing to be time efficient. It's not... One of the cool things about this build that really makes it awesome is that trees grow. Trees have a ten percent chance to grow back, right? Anytime you, ch anytime you know you, have, you leave a stump, every time you go to bed, they have a ten percent chance. Son of a bitch! I really don't want to be rushed with this. Uh, you know what? There's no reason to be rushed because that's exactly where I want it. Okay, beautiful. Now we need some rope and some logs. Um. Yeah, it's just not efficient. But the thing is, like I said, every time you go to bed, a 10% chance for every stump left to grow back as a tree. So what you could do is, you, like, you notice, like, when I clear, making that 865 log setup, I really cleared out these trees. And now they're starting to grow back, so that's cool. But, like, when I cleared out these trees, I'm like, I had to go farther and farther out for trees. It was a pain in the ass. So once I clear this area out, like, that area is all clear over there, right? But once I clear this area out, I can go down there, and that'll be a whole fresh set of trees with the log sled, right? Then once I've cleared that area out, this area will have been regrown by then. So that that's the idea. All right, well, we need some ropes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the boats over here. There's a couple of overturned, overturned bo boats. Hey, what's up, bro? I need the rope. Leave me alone. A couple of overturned boats, and there's three rope here. Oh, God, really? You know, you can give me, you can give me shit. I'm trying to build here, man. I'm trying to build. What a dick. Anyway, um, and then there's two rope in this one over here. Unfortunately, I can't carry more than four ropes, so it doesn't really work out mathematically, but that is okay. Man, they're all over the place. Get out of here. I'm trying to build. Hey, I'm trying to build here. Come on now. Come on now. All right, there we go. Oh, boy. Okay, can we get back without any shenanigans? I got to turn back on my uh, overlays so I know where to get uh, right there. See? The overlays are not just in the way. They're, they're kind of useful. Uh, damn it. Freaking rabbit. I'm going to get you. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm swinging for no reason. All right. So I'm going to get this rabbit. Damn it. Come on now. Stop. Stop. Yeah, there you go. Get you. Come. Nah, I'm not going to get him. I still need to work on my athleticism a little bit. <laughs> just like in real life. Great. I'm at the main cannibal camp, and as soon as I got here, it started raining. That is foreboding. Alright, let's not spend a lot of time here. 
I don't remember what I came here for. Oh yeah, rope. That's right. I could have done the reload trick, but I need to come up. I need more dynamite and stuff anyway, so it's all good. I need rope. I need cloth. I'm just gonna try to avoid any any kind of shenanigans with the locals. All right. Well, we're full on all that. Um, we're full on soda. We're full on TNT, dynamite, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't think they have a rope here to be full. So I will probably get... I know there's another, like, little building over there. I should have three rope. Yeah. All right. So there's another building over here. Uh, what is this? Is this uh, flares? Yes, good. Flares are good, man. They say they freaking saved me when I fought that last... That last um, mutant and I, when I didn't have the arrows. Uh, should I do some fishing? It's probably not the best place to do fishing. But if I could do some fishing, I really should. This is a good pond to fish in. Okay, look at that. One shot. One shot. I got three fish. Oh, can't can't use it underwater. Alright, there we go. Cool. Three fish, not bad. Maybe I'll be able to kill a deer on the way back too. That would be really sweet. I'm kind of out of food. And here are the rest of the rope. Okay. Four rope. Really, really wish I'd carry more than four rope. Just finished it. And here we go. That leaf should be okay, or whatever branch. Yeah, okay, this is working just fine. I might not be able to finish that wall at that point, but that's okay. Hell yeah, ooh. <laughs> yeah, you definitely need a backstop for this stuff, no doubt. Okay, so if we send logs down here, okay, what's going to happen is they're going to go flying off. I almost want to send some down here just to try it. You know, I probably should, and I probably should have sent them down before I came down the zip line, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not going to cut down any trees. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab two logs. That's all I'm going to need. So let's go test it. Okay, so like I said, I built this in a pretty decent spot. I'm not going to need to waste any materials or time on the um, the crane. And there's a lot of trees in this area. You know, all these trees, I could just knock them down, take the log sled, bring them over here. Log, uh, you know, throw them down the uh, zip line and we're good to go. So let me show you how this works. Okay, you put that down, you put that down. You can see it, right? And then all of a sudden, it'll just stop. Okay? And that that's not like... That part of the game is not loaded. So what'll happen is when you come down here... Now, only two logs might not make that much of a difference. But when you have like 20 logs, 25 logs on this thing... Uh, that's going to be the problem. I usually send them down 50 at a time, too. So now you can see they both... Uh, see, I don't even know where the other one went. Yeah, they're both right next to each other. Okay, these two worked. Because, like I said, it's only two logs. But more than that, um, I think it's going to be a problem. I really don't want to waste logs on that. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to show you how we are going to deal with the next part of this. Okay, so what we're going to do is, again, I've done this before, but it was years ago. And I don't know if this is going to work anymore. So you're going to learn with me. We're going to use the gazebo, and this is called the gazebo catch. Okay, and what you're going to do is, the idea is that the logs will come in between the, between the logs of the gazebo. And they'll get stuck in there once I build the way I want to build it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to like have this like place down um, to a spot. You know, you kind of want it to be lower because um, when the log when the logs come down, they, they, you saw them, they were hanging by a rope. So the bottom, like underneath the, the, sh the rope of the zip line is going to be taken up with the log. So I'm thinking like right about, uh, can I go lower? Wait, I can't go any lower. Ooh, that could be a problem. All right, fair enough. You can't go any lower. You can't go any lower. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter where I put this. I'll just put it right there. Okay. Is that going to be low? Actually, that might be too low. Oh, God, that is too low. Look, it's going through the it's going through the thing. Let's try that again. The, the, um, the, the ghost images are a little bit tough to tell. All right, so we can raise that up a little bit. There. Uh, that probably is pretty good. It's still really high, but I think that's what you want. <laughs> I really don't remember. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, 69 logs. Because <gasps> it's going down to the freaking bottom. Oh, I didn't know it was going to be so expensive. I mean, it's okay. I, you know, if that's going to be that expensive, I could probably make a catch that would be cheaper than this. Yeah, that's really expensive. The other the other option I have is to kind of make make do a makeshift catch. I, I, yeah, that's that might be too much. The thing is, I kind of want to build it because I, I want I want you to see how it works. So if you guys want to use it in your game, you can. But I'm thinking another thing I could do is kind of do something. Like, you know, let's get that out of there. Yeah, that's 
I wonder if there's a way to not have... Because what it's doing is, underneath, it's going all the way down into the water. And why is it doing that anyway? It, it kind of shouldn't. All right. Well, my other option... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and place that gazebo down one more time. See if I can get it to not go all the way down into the water. I think no matter what you do, it goes all the way... No, see, that's 40. That's not going all the way down into the water. So it's because I put it down so low. Let me see if I can get this placed. <laughs> this freaking turtle. Oh my god, you got problems, dude. You got serious problems. You're on my base. And I just hurt my base. So, or damaged it. It's, it's not alive. Um, and I should be able to repair it. Although I don't see an option to repair it. I'll mess around with that later. Uh, let's go ahead and gut this sucker. I'm not going to make any more rain catches, but I could use the meat. And I could also use the shell. And I will throw your head over into the water. There you go. Goodbye. All right, so that is a pretty good spot. I don't know if that's going to be too low. It might be. Mm, yeah, that might be too low. Let me try and place this again. So guys, remember I told you that my base would not be destroyed by some falling trees or a couple of hits from a mutant? Well, yeah, I just dropped like a few, like, I don't know. It looks like two or three trees landed on it. I didn't look because I just chucked dynamite and ran away. And uh, <laughs> a bunch of trees just fell into my base. Uh, you know what? And it didn't it didn't fall, guys. It's uh it's it's a stronger base than you guys are giving it credit for. It's a it's a tough ass base, okay? So this is what happens when your base starts getting damaged. It breaks out parts underneath, right? So what you want to do is you come over here with your little repair tool and you simply repair it. Well, you simply repair it. Okay, well, what's going on? It won't let me repair it. Well, I'll tell you what's going on. It, it should tell you. I'm surprised it doesn't. It needs logs. See? I don't know why it didn't say that it needed logs. Maybe I'm just missing it, but whatever. Anyway, there we go. We got some logs in there, and now we repair it. Pretty cool, right? This game's freaking awesome, dude. Like, you know, think about it. Like, a base this big is not just going to get destroyed by a couple trees or some a, a couple mutant hits, right? It'll eventually go down. I mean, it's not invincible, but, you know. Um, it's a, it's a tough little base, man. Tough little base. All right, I have everything to make this thing. So, and I just saved the game. So if I screw anything up, you know, no, no harm, no foul. So we're going to put in 20 sticks and a bunch of logs. I got two more stick things. We might not quite have a, a, enough logs maybe because I forgot there's some extra things I need to build around this, but that's okay. Like I'll only probably need like, like, I don't know, one more log sled or something. Maybe not even that much. So let's go ahead and put all the logs in there. All right, and okay, that. Let's grab a bunch of sticks. Ah, there we go. Sticks for days. Okay, got this thing hopefully placed the right way. I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if this is gonna work. It might be a failure. If it is, I got some other ideas. You know, so we'll just have to see. I know this used to work. This did work back in the day. I know that for a fact. Like I said, I did a video on it. All right. And okay. four more, two more, okay, and that's what we're looking at. So the idea is the logs will come right in here. Probably should have left myself way up there. I think I can get up there. There we go. The logs will come. Actually, that looks pretty perfect because the logs will be like, you know, hanging down, but I think that's going to work. I should probably put one log down here just to see what it does. Yeah, let's do that. It'll just take a second. All right, let's see how this works. We just gotta know if it's gonna go in through the, you know, the entrance properly. If it falls in front of it, it might not work. But, no, that went right through it. Well, yeah, that went right in. Okay, great. It kind of got stuck going in, but I'm not sure if that's gonna matter. I I'm not gonna rebuild this either. If, if it doesn't work, I'm probably just gonna build something else. Because, um, I don't want to bang my head against the wall if this thing's not gonna work. Alright, so, um, this is what we need to do. Now, when the logs come in, they will fly out of these holes so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our custom walls all right and we're gonna put like logs in between well not that one but logs in between all these logs and two on this side all right now this is a little tricky so i will show you one and then i'll do the rest by myself uh is that good i don't really love that um yeah kind of oh yeah that's it Oh, that's perfect. Okay. So we got to do that all the way around. I've got all these things locked into place. It's actually a lot easier than I remember. I remember having to fiddle around with these things quite a bit. Uh, I don't know, man. This time I was, I don't know. I was in the zone. I got it working. Let's just hope it's going to work. I don't know. 
I do not know. I hate wasting videos when stuff doesn't work, but sometimes you just gotta try stuff and see where it goes. Alright, so this is what I did with the entrance, right? Locked it up. It's a nice circle. The the rope looks like it's perfectly placed. I don't I don't know, man. If this doesn't work, then I don't know how to make it work. So we're gonna find out together. Now, the way I want to do this is I want you know, I'm gonna take one of the log sleds over there. Because here's the thing, I uh, I think you want to put about 50 logs into this thing. The thing is you can't you, you, you can't really hold 50 logs like easily in an equal amount of log sleds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send these log sleds. I think they hold 12 logs each. I'm going to send four log sleds worth of logs down into this thing and see if it works. And that's 48 logs. It's, it's fine. I don't need to do exactly 50. Uh, 48 logs will be perfect. So I'm going to send 48 logs down this thing. I'm going to have four log sleds lined up. Right at the end of it, and then I'm gonna take all the logs out. If I have four log sleds full of logs, then things working perfectly. Uh, if I don't, then we lost some logs somewhere along the way. Uh, we'll have to see about that. And who knows? Maybe it'll just fail outright, and the logs will just go flying everywhere. I don't know. Like I said, when I built this, it was um, June 23rd, 2018. So that's well over two years ago. Um, so yeah, I, if it didn't work, I wouldn't be surprised. All right, so let me go ahead and make all these log sleds here, and then uh, I'm going to gather four log sleds worth of logs, and we're going to test this bad boy. All right, we've got four log sleds ready to rock. So let's see how this goes. Moment of truth, baby. we going to have to find out together. Well, you guys probably already know. The thing is, um, someone in the, uh, in the comment section was asking me, like, is there any way to, like, have the logs, like, go down there and not fly all over the place? They, they didn't really word it like that, but I, I kind of got what they were getting at. Um, and this is the only way I know to do it. Now, if this doesn't work, I'll probably reload the game. And then, uh, we'll probably have to do it next video because it's already a long freaking video. Uh, I, mean, I don't mind making a video where I fail. It's fine, you know. Um, I've built it. I think I've built it perfect. Now, there might be and something I'm missing. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I built this perfect. And if it doesn't work, then, it, you know, it doesn't work. What are you going to do? Uh, yeah, but I think the other thing I could do is I could simply just make a couple of walls on each side. Like, if this doesn't work... All right, what I could do is behind the, you know, the other end of the of the zip line, I could make a couple of walls, you know, a wall behind it, two walls on the sides, you know, and then maybe put a roof over it and just make like a little like um, a little pouch, you know, a little cubby hole. The thing is the logs like last time I tried to do something like in the, I never actually tried to do that completely. But when the logs go down there and you come it, like all these logs, 48 logs are all going to come into the load at the same time. Like, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm close enough where it doesn't matter, but I don't think I am because I'm not seeing anything down there. Uh, when I come down there, my theory is when I when I go down there, all right, every, that whole area is going to load and 48 logs are going to be all coming down the zip line all at once. And if you don't have something that's going to catch the logs, they fly all over the place. I probably should have done it just to show you guys, but, you know, trust me, you know, you can try it in your own game if you want. Um, but yeah, they just go flying all over the place. And it's been, like I said, it's been a long time since I've tried to do anything like this. Maybe the game's been updated. I don't know. I'm going to find out together. And there we go. Four log sleds. Oh, boy. I'm getting excited now. All right. One, two, three, and four. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. And, okay, so a few of them fell out. A few of them fell out, but overall, I think it did the job. Overall, I think it did the job. I think we lost one over into the water. Yep, we lost one over there. Okay. Hey, man, if we can get 47 out of 48 logs like that, that would be pretty good. And like I said, when I did this last time, um, the thing is I had to make a crane. And that crane takes a lot of resources. And it also takes a long time to get all the all the logs onto the log holders, up the crane, and then onto the, um, the zip line. Now, I might have put these these logs in uh, in the entrance in bad spots or maybe that was just an unlucky thing that I lost one log but again if I if I lose one or two logs who cares right I think it's gonna be okay oh crap I didn't hold on we got to get these out of here because I want I want fresh log sleds so I don't get confused um, okay so there's four log sleds up here these have sticks on them so I'm gonna take the sticks out of there shut up timer you're not the boss of me and we can't hold all those sticks, so let's quickly come over here. Just ugh, just drop some sticks in here. I'm trying to do this pretty quick because it's go time. Let's go ahead and eat and drink. 
Can't be working on an empty stomach. Okay. All right, let's take all these out of here, see what we got. Well, guys, I don't know what I missed. Uh, I, I looked underneath the platform. I actually went around, went underneath the platform, looked, there was no logs down there. And I only, oh, oops. Okay, well, now you can see underneath the platform. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing any logs down here. If you guys see any that I'm missing, you know, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm only seeing one log out here, okay? And I don't see any others, but I'm missing six logs. So, you know, it kind of works. Uh, am I sorry I built it? Do I consider it a, a failure or a success? I consider it a success. We're going to lose six logs. Um, you know, that kind of sucks, but maybe we won't lose six logs next time. Um, is six logs out of 48 not worth doing this? It was a fun video. Is it inefficient? Maybe it's a little inefficient. Maybe it's a little inefficient. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see where things go. I'm, I'm really looking forward to see you guys' comments on if I did something wrong or if you know where the logs went. The thing is, like, I've never had logs just disappear. Now, they could have gone flying somewhere really far. Like, I know I've seen times when, like, you come down the zip line and then you'll find logs, like, way over there out in the woods somewhere. Like, they fly really, really far. But I'm not seeing any logs, so and I didn't see any flying. I went back and watched the video a couple times, uh, the, you know, the, the video clip that I made uh, coming down here. But um, you know what? I'm gonna consider it a success, and I hope it gets better later. Maybe we gotta like kind of do something up there. Uh, although I don't think there's supposed to be anything up there, so I don't know. I don't know. I look forward to reading you guys' comments. But as you can see right here, I've got the four log sleds, and I'm missing six off this one. Um, six logs is not insignificant, but I also don't know if it's enough to really worry about it. I'm going to call this a success. I'm going to call this a success, and I look forward to your comments to see if there's any way, you know, if there's anything I missed, basically. All right, guys, um, I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and until then... Take it easy.